वेलकम टू माई चैनल नीटाज ग्लैम वर्ल्ड एंड थैंक यू फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय आई एम नीता इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गेट टू शेयर विथ यू दिस ब्यूटिफुल बोल्ड फॉल मेकअप विच यू क्रिएटेड यूजिंग ऑल ड्रग स्टोर एंड अफोर्डेबल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई लव द वे इट टर्न आउट यू कैन इजिली क्रिएट दिस लुक फॉलोइंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो विज इट फर्दर एड यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड I have already moisturized my face using this Saint Ives Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer. Now I'm going to moisturize my lips because we are going to apply a liquid lipstick. For my primer, I'm going to use this Pack Pore Primer. It's a very nice primer. I'm going to apply it on my T zone and wherever I have pores, and I'm going to blend it out with my fingers i'm just slowly spreading it all over on my face now for color correcting i'm going to mix this elegal pro conceal orange corrector and yellow corrector together and i'm going to apply it wherever i have dark circles pigmentation and acne spot this orange color is too dark that's why i mix it with this yellow corrector to give it a nice peachy undertone I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty sponge and I'm using a dabbing motion I'm not dragging it at all Now for my foundation I'm going to use this pack aged liquid foundation and I'm in the shade 2.0 This is a medium to full coverage foundation and it is one of my favorites First I'm applying it all over on my face and neck in a dotting motion then I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty sponge and again I'm using a dabbing motion always blend your foundation using a dabbing motion this way it doesn't look patchy or cakey and it doesn't move your color correction always take time to blend your foundation Now for my concealer I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 Sand Shable. First I'm going to apply it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape. And I'm also applying it on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow application. I'm also applying it on chin cupid bow bridge of my nose and center of my forehead and just under where i'm going to place my contour next again i'm going to blend everything out with the same beauty sponge using a tapping motion highlighting gives your face a nice structure and it just brightens up everything and always blend your highlighting concealer really well otherwise it doesn't look good it is nicely blended now i'm going to use this Bharat and Doris loose powder in the shade 07 and with the same beauty sponge i'm just going to take little by little product and i'm just pressing it wherever i apply it that concealer i love to set my concealer in this way it ensures that everything is locked
Now with a fluffier powder brush, I'm going to set the rest of my face so slightly. Now for my eyes, I'm taking this shade from Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette and I'm going to apply it as my transition shade. I'm going to use only this palette for this makeup tutorial. Previously I made a makeup tutorial using this palette only. You can check that out if you want. I will link that in the description bar or at the end of this video. Next I'm taking this orange shade and I'm going to place it on my crease. Again, I'm taking little by little product and I'm slowly building up the pigmentation. Otherwise, it, it may look a little bit patchy. Now with a blending brush, I'm going to blend out everything so there is no harsh edge. And from the same palette, I'm using this dark chocolate brown shade and I'm going to place it on my outer V area in a V shape. It gives a nice depth to the eyes. I'm just dragging it towards my inner corner just a little I'm mainly placing it on my outer V area now I'm taking this dark magenta or pink kind of a shade and I'm going to place it on my inner third area again I'm slowly building up the pigmentation so there is no patchiness or nothing else I'm blending everything out again now I'm taking this dark orange shade from the same palette and I'm just placing it between that magenta shade and dark chocolate shade to give it a nice and smooth transition I'm again applying that crease shade because after a darker eyeshadow I always feel like the the crease shade it wears off now I'm taking this shimmery shade from the same palette and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corners I took that same magenta shade and I applied it on my lower lash line now I'm taking this wet and wild waterproof eyeliner and I'm going to make a nice thick winged eyeliner I have made a nice thing winged eyeliner now I'm going to coat my, my eyelashes with this Maybelline Colossal mascara I'm going to coat my upper and my lower lashes with it, with it. now I'm quickly going to Fill up my brows using this Essence Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Chocolate. This is a perfect shade for my eyebrow and I love this eyebrow pencil so much. First I'm going to outline my brows then I'm going to fill it up using vertical strokes. Then with a spoolie, I'm going to comb it so there is nothing patchiness or nothing at all. Now I'm using this brow mascara in the shade Brownie Brows again by Essence and I'm going to 
apply it on my brows it gives your brows a nice tint of color and makes it fuller and healthy and it it is so nice then i'm using this makeup revolution do face sculpt and with the darker brown shade i'm going to contour the parameters of my face that is cheekbones jawline a little bit of forehead and with a smaller eyeshadow brush i'm going to contour my nose i i like to contour my nose always with an eyeshadow brush and i'm going to blend everything out so there is no harshness For my blush today I'm going to use this Wet n Wild color icon blush in the shade Miller Wine. It's a very nice terracotta blush. First I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to blend it out with my contour. For my highlighter today I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate highlighter and I'm going to highlight the highest points of my face. is my cheekbones chin cupid bow bridge of my nose and just above my eyebrows this is again a gorgeous highlighter and it's my all time favorite then i'm going to blend everything out again Now for my lips today I'm going to use this Milani Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade Gorgeous and this is a gorgeous color as the name suggests I'm just setting my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray and I'm just bouncing my beauty blender so that there is no powder rinses or nothing. So here is the complete look and I quickly applied some false eyelashes. These are back eyelashes in the number 58. I loved the way the look turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you liked my video then please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be listed in the description bar below so please check that out. See you in my next video.